I used to train with Thomas back in the day. He's got some sick wrestling. I, it, he doesn't use it enough in his fights. He likes to throw bombs. This guy can seriously wrestle. He was a, like, a national wrestler in Poland. He's got some really great takedowns. Very slick. Brilliant. So he's going to be an all-rounder here. Though he's going to, though it seems from the interviews that you can get on Sports Chain on Facebook that he wants to stand and bang. So when you're so confident taking it to the ground, it could work out. But then again, I have seen him. Oh, actually, he was finished by um, Richie Katona, one of my training partners. Uh, Richie Katona, the the Hungarian soldier, was able to take Thomas out in the first round or second round of their 66 kilogram tilt only a short year ago. So Thomas has been in the gym improving since that time. We'll see if he's able to showcase some of those skills tonight. My frustration with Thomas is that he's got such good wrestling skills, but he doesn't like to use them. He likes to throw bombs. He likes to throw some big overhands. If he relied on his athleticism and his takedowns, you know, I've seen him in the gym. He double legs everyone. He double legs heavyweights. Awesome. I'm referring to myself. <laughs> Running it through. Powerful, low, low centered wrestlers. They're very dangerous. He's definitely come in shape. He's got the top knot. He's got the look. Not a fan of the top knot. Yeah, Jay John coming from Combat Exercise. Combat Exercise, they do everything. They're in Warwickshire, Nunny and in Warwickshire. And that was like a black hole for martial arts for a little while. The Combat Exercise opened. I think they're affiliated to Brownlee and those guys. And they've got uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Rob Stevens, who's well known on the Jiu-Jitsu scene for being such a good coach. Uh, he's one of the coaches there at Combat Exercise. And they're really, really bringing on some fantastic fighters and such an up and coming gym. Jay John is one and one at the moment. He's loving, he, gra he loves to take down. He's a strong grappler from, from all, all opinions. And he's been training twice a day recently. So he's gonna be looking to bring it to Thomas Remintz. And against a wrestler, we can see some some really interesting game being played. This is going to be good. It could be a battle of the grapplers. Could be jiu-jitsu versus wrestling, but then... Wrestling always wins. Well, uh, But we know that Thomas has got some jiu-jitsu as well. He's been training at the 10th Planet in Banbury, so... Jiu-jitsu always wins. <laughs> I'm, s I'm such a man of two minds, really. Uh, yeah, Muay Thai's good as well. I have to admit, I only tap brown belts with uh, wrestling. I don't tap brown belts with jiu-jitsu. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, that's the way it is. <laughs> Let's get the action started. Oh, cool. Jay John coming out, throwing kicks, looking to mix it up with looping punches. Thomas Remitz answering back with a jab of his own. Oh, Will Tom we see the wrestling of Thomas? See, Thomas great stuff, and then a knee off of it. Really slick. Oh, I'm surprised that he managed to take Thomas down, but... That's Up the against the fence, it's really hard to get your hips away. This is the thing. These wrestlers, these kind of traditional wrestlers that are used to being on a big wide mat and getting put back in the middle, they struggle when they got to do this cage work. It's a separate skill. You saw Thomas doing well to hike it up with an underhook a moment ago, but now he's trapped on the bottom. And then you have this issue. John on top. Sometimes wrestlers, you might find this, Steve, as well. Sometimes when you're, a lot of the time you're on top, you're dominating, so it's unusual wow. that you're on the bottom. Great pass work from Jay John. And now he's in mount, high up. Thomas is doing Thomas a good Rist job of fighting back. Wow, is oh, he strong. Oh, what a reversal. What an athletic guy. Wow, that was that was sheer heart and sinew right there. And he's looking to land left hands to the body. We he's coming for mince. We know that Jay John's got really good submissions off his back, so Thomas doesn't need to be, doesn't want to relax he's here. He's got a foot on the hip. He's looking like he's going for an arm bar already. Oh, he pushes the hips away and he stands up back up. That's good. There's Thomas for mince, smiling. He's happy. He's ready to go. Both. Oh, oh big, big right. right hand. Oh, Thomas John. fires a right hand of his own. Both, both fighters trading right hands there. Oh, T Thomas Ramirez just getting out of the way of that knee from Jay John. Jay does seem to be getting back the on the back the on the legs team. again. Is Jay? He's going to pull his legs away from the cage and maybe look to to pass into half guard or even into mount. He's got to pull those legs further away from the cage. Thomas Ramirez right now just staying busy with those short hands to the face. Might not Jay be the John pulling away. I think he needs to focus on wall walking, getting back to his feet. But Jay John, I've been really impressed with his striking. He's winning all the, the generally winning most of the exchanges. Because he's willing to go into the grapple afterwards. Yeah. He's not, he's not backing away to look. Oh, he passes again to Mount. Can he keep it here this time? Oh, oh comes a step over for an arm bar. Thomas has done such a good job of reversing these positions. 
J. John loves that short power right overhand. Does he ever? And he's stepping in really well off of the jab, so he's using the jab to mask a step and then coming over with the right hand. Great leg kick as well. Thomas checked it. Oh, big the... right hand. He eats it. Oh. Jumping, jumping push kick. <laughs> he just bullies him with that high plum, takes him right to the ground, J. John does. And now he's on top and side control. Thomas known for his wrestling. He's been taken down at ease in this match. This is where I would love to see J. John just blast some knees into the body just from the ground here. It's something that's underused, I feel. There we go. Big left hand over the top. Another left hand. Thomas remits. Uh, Neil Melly is a really strong yeah. position. Oh, steps slick around. transition. Now, now he's got a high mount. For a triangle. This he's got is the other arm trapped. Oh, he's landing huge shots. I'm not sure Thomas is intelligently defending himself. He's, not, he's bringing his head up. Short time left in this round. Oh, Paul Nichols was well on top of that. There's definitely a bunch of shots there that went through. Thomas Remitz a bit slow to get up now. Oh, he's looking a little bit wobbly on his feet, is Thomas. The referee's taking a closer look at him. I'm not sure. That was a really exciting round. I, I've been so impressed by Jay's power. He's a very explosive guy. He, um, his transitions between the striking and the grappling are so slick. Sometimes we don't see that. We see guys in grappling mode and striking mode, but sliding with the two, between the two so effortlessly. Yeah, what, what GSP coined shoot boxing, using those hands to set up the takedowns and vice versa. And Jay John's getting a lot of just, just real success on the ground, whereas Thomas Remiss has got to start to mix something up. He can't just keep it standing. He can't have his chin up in the air because he's going to get hurt. And he can't have his hips forward because he's going to get taken down. He's got to tr change the momentum of this fight by establishing his will. I think Thomas needs to be more technical with his escapes on the ground. He looks like he's just trying to muscle back to his feet, and Jay's such a strong, athletic guy. I think it's not going to work. And Thomas leaning on the fence is not a good sign going into the second round. There we go. Both fighters really happy to stand in front of each other. Definitely. Oh, big right hand comes chasing forward as Jay John. Now he's back in the tie up over under. He catches that leg off the oh, knee. So he'll take nice him down takedown. easily. Nice. Watch for Jay John looking to pass again. But again, here. You notice, Chris, that big right leg just straighten it out and fire that knee in. Be very nice. But now we got a knee on belly position here. Really cutting off the wind, compressing that diaphragm of Thomas Remitz is Jay John. Now he passes over to Mount again. This is exactly forcing where he the finished. hand down. And oh, some power shots from that Mount position. I think Tommy could be done. This is going to be an interesting It's going to be hard finish. to come back from this, that's for sure. And now he's just holding on. There's oh, the stop from stop. Rob Nick from Paul it. Excellent stoppage there. Jay John back, on, he's on top of the cage there. Come Looking to his fans, excellent performance. And then he spikes his gum shield. I hope somebody picks it up for him, good. Complete domination there by Jay John, really impressive. Excellent performance. Just, just an excellent usage of mixed martial arts skills, isn't it? If it's, you see so much stubbornness in fighters nowadays that want to keep it standing when, like you said, Thomas Remitz has got some excellent ground skills, especially takedown skills. The referee stops his. What a performance.